uh, it was very uh, strange to see people welcoming us and thanking us. Yes, definitely Honorable the Executive Chairman of NALSA has to be thanked because uh, it was his Lordship's uh, approval and enthusiasm to come here which really geared us up and the support which the Honorable Chief Justice Andhra Pradesh has given. But the real thank goes to the public which is gathered here for having accepted our invitation and have turned out in large numbers. We, from the Legal Services Authority, have not too much of a role without the involvement and participation of the stakeholders. We have tried to create a machinery where whatever is existing by way of a right, not as a charity to all the targeted segments, reaches them by passing the red tapism of the system and also ensuring quick deliverance of all those benefits to the targeted groups. It is always a good sign when a city develops that there is a burst in commercial production, commercial activity, but side by side there is a negative and a darker shade also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the desire of uh, the people who matter, who decide the policies, and also a desire to move ahead very fast, basically commercially, we forget that the persons who are actually responsible and who actually contribute to this development soon become marginalized, not even marginalized, but actually uh, they are thrown off the main focus of attention of the persons who should really be taking care of them. Right. The saddest part is that though, as per a decade-old survey, 93% of the labor is unorganized, though contributing to more than 50% of the GDP, comma, uh, they are unorganized. They don't have a voice. That is the saddest part. Uh, kindly do not uh, wrongly understand me. By being unorganized, I do not mean that we have to be militant. You have to have form a force, act as a counter force. No. By organized, I mean your voice does not reach the persons who are supposed to be taking care of you. Uh, having that in mind, the National Legal Service Authority has come up with a scheme so that these persons, like uh, my brothers who have come here, the auto drivers and all, they get the benefit uh, and they are able to come before the authorities. And the authorities are bound to give them their due, not refusing it on the ground that unless they are able to prove their bona fide, prove who they are, by way of uh, a recognition to them, maybe by a shram card or the benefit under the National Health Security Scheme. Uh, <clears throat> I want to assure you, on behalf of the State Legal Services Authority and also on behalf of the National Legal Services Authority, that this is one of the rare occasions where we have called you now we will be coming to you at your place, not you having to come to us. You look at the topic of today's uh, meet, you may feel that the issues may be disjointed, but actually the, all the three issues are integrated. I'll explain how. <clears throat> the first is say no to plastics. That is the beginning. It's a very common slogan, say no to this, say no to that. Now say no to plastic. It's been here for time, very, very long time. At least I can remember in my childhood also the slogan was there, say no to plastic, say no to plastic. But then what? Say no to plastic, then what? We were so dependent on plastics. Plastic was a very nice inven invention. It was a scientific creation. 
of some good minds it does serve some purpose but now say no to plastic is what in the context of the environment save environment now we are looking at it vis a vis the environment and then i need not emphasize that ultimately it is the environment which is all important because every form of life what we are leaving to the new generation to the next generation is the environment whatever you call in prakriti whatever you call fourth nature whatever it is the environment only the moment these two issues are taken care of the unorganized labor will also gain like today my brothers the auto drivers they are here if tourism will develop what is tourism dependent upon people come here for a clean environment good air the moment you take care of the environmental part basically which is the damage the threat is of plastics you create a bigger clientele for yourself there will be more tourists more of activities more of revenue generation and betterment of your life good for your families mana auto so basic human nature to go for the convenient the most easy way i am also guilty of that sometimes i also get tempted of just using a plastic just for the sake of convenience man andarki telusu mana manav jeevitham anta kuda saukaryalu kosam edaithe suluga untundo aa margaanni enchukune indiki ekkuga mana aalochistu untamu nenu kuda andike emi exception kaadu nenu appudu appudu baadha padutu untanu plastic ni viniyogisthunanu telikunda ni viniyogisthunanu as it is said that we always take a pledge that hence forth from tomorrow and tomorrow never comes man ippudu we'll ask the uh, municipal commissioner and the authorities of uh, the andhra university that let us see how many garbage dumps are full of plastics which you will dispose of before going home that will mean that you have taken it right from the beginning right from today finally uh, wishing you all the best and let us from this platform i am offering you a partnership let us be partners in a good environment in a good world and something when we leave this world our next generation can thank us for all the best jai hind